Here in Geneva, we're joined by Mr. Kusai Al Shati, who's the Deputy Director General of the Information Technology Sector in Kuwait. Well, good afternoon, and thanks for being with us today. Uh, let's talk a bit about Kuwait. We've spoken to other Gulf state countries who have these very ambitious programs. Uh, what's the situation like in Kuwait? Well, uh, in Kuwait, we are focusing right now on e-government services, where our concern is really to uh, introduce more citizen-centric uh, services uh, from government agencies for the public. Uh, to uh, promote uh, and increase at the same time the usage of ICT uh, uh, and expand it in their daily life. So our focus is really around this right now. You've been involved in the WESIS process since yes. 2005. Uh, the world has changed immeasurably since then. Uh, are you happy with the progress that Kuwait has made in keeping up with the pace of change? Yes. Kuwait made significant progress really 10 years since the, the WSIS in several action lines of the, uh, uh, of the Geneva Declaration of Principles. Um, today we have five ISPs and three mobile operators who are also investing in the infrastructure and providing broadband uh, services where the uh, cost of the service also went lower and lower because of the competition, uh, the competition between all of them. So on the level of infrastructure uh, and uh, access, situation has improved. The penetration rate to the internet today in Kuwait is almost 79% of the total population. Um, on the level of uh, building partnerships, for example, there are several examples of public-private uh, partnerships. One of them is between the Ministry of Finance and what we call uh, a consortium of the financial sectors in Kuwait, which is a company called KNET, which did the infrastructure for the e-payment gateway, and the government outsourced the e-payment services for this gateway. And now we have a well-established e-payment infrastructure, uh, as well as a, a safe uh, and a secured environment to do financial transaction. So it was a win-win situation for both, where the government did not need to invest on an e-payment gateway, while the private sector provided this to us. Uh, in terms of capacity building, uh, the central agency of information technology uh, during the last four years, we trained over 4,000 of our technical cadre in the field of IT, as well more than 3,500 of uh, the common employees uh, on using ICT2 as a productivity tool. Plus, in this area, uh, the activities that is done by the educational centers and the training centers, as well as civil society. Um, on the term of building a trust, uh, today, the public authority for uh, civil information uh, completed the distribution of smart cards with public key infrastructure to all Kuwaiti nationals, and they are expanding that to the, uh, let's say, residents uh, or the expats living in Kuwait, and uh, soon they will complete that. 60% of that, all of that, their number has been uh, completed. Uh, uh, these are examples, of course, of, of what we have done uh, during the and, last and how, 10 years. And how useful is this process to your ICT aims? Well, you know, the follow-up process has been always important to us. Um, the outcomes of the WSIS played a key role in linking ICT to development. Uh, and for us, it's uh, an... Uh, it proved to be a practical, uh, reasonable, realistic framework to link ICT to uh, development. So we always compare ourselves to the action lies and what, what is there and to what extent we achieved. And today is the second day of the high level track with uh, government representatives such as yourself and uh, we are expecting two key documents to be endorsed, the statement on implementation of uh, WESIS outcomes and also the vision for 2015 and beyond. Are you, um, are you happy with the progress of these talks and uh, with these documents? 
so far it went uh, 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 it went in a, I wouldn't say completely smooth you know are, you are developing uh, documents here but definitely it is up to expectation and uh, it went on a, a good will by all and we hope that these two documents that will be adopted which uh, as much as we support the WSIS outcome we are supporting also the outcome documents uh, it will help us to further enhance the outcome of the uh, WSIS hopefully. Okay thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thank you.